Hey everyone, I'm back today with another video on the E46. Uh, today I'm going to be pulling off the rad and the AC condenser. Now the rad can be taken off with the front end still on, but obviously I'm going to be doing with the front end off. It does make it a little easier, but I'm going to try and explain it in a way where you could use this video to do it with the front end still on. Um, the first thing you want to do is to drain the rad. Now this car is an automatic and there's a few things different about the rad. I plan on using it on the manual. Um, so there's a couple modifications I'll have to make. That'll be kind of a separate section. But uh, one difference actually is the drain plug. So if we look under here at the plug right about here on the automatic, it is kind of a hex head and it takes a 22 millimeter socket. And on the manual, you use a slot screwdriver. It's not a threaded kind of like this. It's a little bit different, but you'll figure it out. So just get your pan underneath and undo that. The other thing you got to do is undo all the hoses. So that's going to be the next thing I do while that kind of drips. Um, most of the hoses use this kind of clip system. So I'm going to grab my slot screwdriver. I had to find my screwdriver there. Okay, so next is pulling off the hoses. So most of the hoses, the rat hoses, use this kind of clip here. So I'm going to use a slot screwdriver. And you just pry up on this clip, put it up underneath there, pry up on it. And that'll disconnect the clip. I think it's high enough. You might have to go a bit higher. Yeah. There you go. Pull it up. And then it's kind of the same thing up in there and stuff. So I'm going to spend a couple minutes to pull off all these clips. You got to do one here, one up here. And there's also the lower rad hose, which you can't really see. And then the other things you got to disconnect are the, uh, the hose to the expansion tank, and there's a hose at the bottom of it under there. So I'm gonna go through disconnecting those and then I'll show you after where and how I did it. So one thing I'll show you here, I've undone the clips uh, for this hose. So there's two clips, one here and one here. Uh, the bigger one goes to the rad and the smaller one goes to the expansion tank, which sits right here on the rad. Again, we're on the driver's side of the car. And I undid the clip as well that uh, puts it, I guess that's the water pump there. I put it there so the clip actually fell off on me so just be careful when you're prying them up i gotta go fetch it down there but i just pull the hose completely out to get it completely out of the way um the major difference of doing this job between having the front end off and on is with it off or sorry with the front end still on you're gonna have to also uh take off the fan clutch and pull the fan off to be able to actually pull this uh, shroud up and then also get the rad out. But since I have the front end off, um, the front end basically holds the rad there. So currently my rad is just sitting here. It sits kind of on these little parts up in the subframe here. It sits on another part on the other side. So I will show you how that works, but I won't have to actually pull the fan off in my video, I don't believe. So I'm gonna continue pulling off these hoses and we'll go from there. So after you've gotten this upper rad hose out of the way, um, I mean, you could do this before, but it just makes it easier without the hose there. There's this lower hose on the um, expansion tank. Down there, there's also a clip. I'll try and show you right up in there. I've already lifted the clip up. So you lift that up just like the others, and then you can pull this hose right back off. I've got that hose off. Um, I just pried with a tool kind of like this up in here, up against the expansion tank. Just be careful because it is plastic pried back against the hose. Um, be careful, keep your tray under there because as you can hear, it, it will drip a bunch of coolant out of this. So I'm going to slowly pull it off and let it drip into my tray. Okay, I'm gonna try and show this part as best I can. Um, this is where a difference between the manual and the auto is. So looking at the expansion tank, right underneath it, you do have to undo something to pull this out. But underneath that, there is the uh, transmission fluid cooler which would only exist on the automatics. And that is this little guy right here. And to remove that, I've already undone the clip, but there's three hoses or three little connectors. This middle one is the clip. And then those two is where the coolant actually goes through. Um, this clip is the same as the other ones, although it's on the top. So you can't really reach up there. You might be able to, to pry it up from the top. But what I did is before I did it, you would see the two different the two metal pieces of the clip on either side here. So I took a screwdriver underneath each one of them and pushed up at the same time and the clip's off. So this is actually loose now. So I'm gonna pull it back. I'm gonna put my tray back underneath here so it catches the coolant and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. 
Now that I pulled it off, you can see it just hanging down here. Try to set my light in a way. Um, so this side is what would have been against the rod. This is the middle piece where the clip was. So the clip would have gone around in this groove. And each of these side pieces just uh, get pushed into the rod. There's two holes there and they each have an O-ring that uh, so it doesn't need clip, it seals like that. Now that the trans cooler is out of the way, again, that step is only needed if you do have an automatic, which the Sparks car is. Um, you can see the bottom of the expansion tank. There is this connector right here that goes into that. I've already disconnected it. And then you have to undo this clip. It'll pull this out to allow the expansion tank to lift off of this connector right at the bottom of it. So if I pull that out, I should be able to pull the expansion tank up and out. I've got my expansion tank loose here. Um, it just took a bit more effort from me because my rad is just loose because, again, the front end is not on. Um, if your front end is off, I just took my hand, held it up against this, and pry it up and use both hands, one on either side, and it pulls itself off of the two pieces it sits on at the bottom. And then this will just pull up out of here and you'll have it out and I'm dripping coolant everywhere. Looking down where the expansion tank was, you can see the uh, temperature sensor that it did sit on and the other hole that it sat on. Um, there is one more hose you have to disconnect, which I have done. It's this hose right here, which goes into that right there. Um, again, same sort of deal, pull the clip up. It's the exact same as all the other ones and then pull it back. Keep your tray closed because again, it will have uh, coolant in it. I like to throw my tray on the other side of the shop and have to go looking for it every time, but you just pour it down into it and you're good to go there. Now you gotta disconnect your lower rad hose, which is just down in here. As you can see, I've already lifted up that clip. You have to remove this sensor as well. There's a similar type deal with a metal bar. Let's see if I can get my finger in there. There's a metal bar right here that you have to pull back to pull this off as well. So at this point, once you've disconnected all your hoses, you're almost ready to pull the rod out. I have a couple extra steps I gotta do because I'm pulling this all out together. Um, the AC condenser and the kind of shroud and everything. So if you're just pulling out the rad, there's a couple of screws on either side or bolts, uh, one here and there's one down there. And then I think there's one up at the top over here and maybe a second one down here as well. I'm not a hundred percent sure on that, but you just got to find all those. And um, cause the shroud is connecting to the rest of this and then you'll be able to slide out the uh, rad. The other thing I'm doing, um, you can skip this part if you're not pulling out the entire kind of front section there, is I'm removing these power steering lines. So I already have one removed, it's sitting up here. It's up because there's fluid in there, but uh, they're quick disconnect lines, although it took me a while to kind of get it to work. Um, basically what these lines do, I guess it cools the power steering fluid. So they come up here and they run across and loop back. Um, so the way this works is if you look at this line here, it's got this little plastic piece. Sometimes apparently these do break off. So if they do break off, you got to kind of, if yours isn't there, you got to use a um, slot screwdriver, but you push this in on the line you're looking at, and then you pull this towards the line and then pull the whole thing off. So what I did is I, um, I'll kind of show you quickly with this. I've got that there so that doesn't leak. I sprayed a whole bunch of silicone lubricant in. I haven't done so on this one yet. You see the little plastic piece here. I took a pair of pliers, fit them around it, pushed this line in as I pushed that, and then pulled it off. Basically what this plastic piece does is it remove, it uh, releases some little uh, tabs in there, some metal tabs that clip it around the little rib here. So you gotta do that if uh, you're removing the whole front end, but if you're not, or the, sorry, the AC condenser and all these components, cause I need them all, cause they were all damaged. So you don't need to do that if you're just doing the rod. So once you have all of your hoses disconnected, um, since I am pulling off this entire thing, I had to disconnect the two uh, power steering lines, as I said earlier. Um, you can pull this right out. Uh, the only last thing you have to do is get the refrigerant extracted from the AC system. I guess it's done right there. Um, I need to get someone to come in and do that. So once that is done, this whole entire piece will come out. As I said previously, if you are just doing the rad, you do not need to do all that. Although if you have the front end off, it's pretty easy. Um, you just have to undo the shroud with those couple bolts and remove the fan with a, from the clutch or the 
the entire assembly there with the uh, 32 millimeter wrench. I don't have one of those, so I'm not doing it right up in there. So that's everything for this video. Um, next video, I'm going to go over removing this fender here. Um, you got to undo all the bolts in up here and there's some underneath the fender liner. So I will explain that in the next video. And yeah, that is all. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.